Hi, my name is Trisha Friedman. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. This guide is meant to help you and your SOGI or GSA student group explore chat GPT in that specific context. Now, when you head over to openai.com and you select about, you can familiarize yourself and your students with open AI and what their mission is. So when they say our mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all humanity, the question is, are they talking about the LGBTQ plus community as well? I would strongly suggest you take a look at what they are saying they are trying to do, um, that they want to make sure that they are building something that is safe and beneficial. Again, that idea that it benefits all of humanity. Um, I think it's really important that students are looking at what ChatGPT says that it would like to do, including the ways in which it announces and discusses what it's trying to do to combat bias. So over there on their website, you can take a look under information, their charter. So I think this is a really important resource to dig into a little bit further. Um, and again, I think that it's our GSA, our SOGI groups that are going to be interested in thinking about missions from organizations like OpenAI as generative AI becomes um, more of a part of our learning ecosystem and most certainly the future of work. So throughout this guide, I'm going to um, share with you a few ways that students might explore it. But again, I would use OpenAI's site itself, their mission, their charter to come back and discuss how are they fulfilling their mission and what might it mean for a student group to continue to hold them accountable now again uh, they've shared their mission your gsa or student group might also have your their own mission as well and i should say i'll be sure to include the link to the open ai charter so that you have a direct link to it now it's also important to mention that chat gpt does have an age restriction. You also might want to talk about that with students. So as I am modeling through these uses, my suggestion is that the teacher facilitator or facilitators are the ones who are either sharing these videos or sharing their screen and we're having that conversation about what it is that ChatGPT is prompting back. In this first video, I am going to show you how you might use ChatGPT as a means to have a meaningful conversation about your group's collaborative norms, about the guiding principles that you use to foster trust and belonging. So you might just show this video to students. You might start your own teacher ChatGPT account and then model it and invite students to also share uh, prompts that they would like to see explored. And then again, I'd mention, I think it's really important, come back to this charter, have a conversation about where you see that OpenAI is maybe going to struggle to stick to this charter or where it's going to be up to citizens like us to be reminding OpenAI of their promise and how they can keep it. In the work that I do advising other GSA SOGI teacher facilitators, um, one thing that I come back to a lot is how important it is that we think about our guiding principles. So here I am prompting ChatGPT to provide five guiding principles for a middle school GSA. And here it is giving me a list of five. Now, if you've seen any of my other tutorials exploring ChatGPT, you know that for me, um, the magic is getting that first draft and then continuing to play with what we might do to refine that. So here I am asking ChatGPT, let's get rid of the idea of a safe space. A lot of writers and thinkers have talked about how an accountable space is more useful. So I've asked it to make that update and here it is again, instead of focusing on safe spaces, focusing on accountable spaces, you can always reach out to me, Trisha, T-R-I-C-I-A at shiftingschools.com if you'd like more information about that. And I've asked it, can you provide a question for each principal? So this might serve for our group as a initial checking in. Maybe we take on one of these questions at the start of each meeting. And I'm asking it here, 
to give a quote from an influential queer leading thinker that goes alongside of each of these principles. Now, here is where, again, I would re be reminding students, this is a great opportunity for us to fact check. Are those quotes actually associated with those folks? And I'd also say, hey, let's take a, a, let's take a moment to look at which leading thinkers it's represented. Do we have global representation or not? I've asked ChatGPT, can you give me an emoji representation for each principle? I think this would make for a great student discussion as well. And I'm going to ask it for a list of 10 scenarios where these principles would be tested. Again, trying to generate a few resources here that I think would make for great further discussion. To what extent is ChatGPT really understanding the nuances of our middle school? And then I'm also going to ask it for some recommendations. Uh, again, remember that ChatGPT's uh, database only runs until 2021. So I've said, give me three podcast episodes between 2019 and 2021 that look at the importance of guiding principles. This again, I think would make for a really great discussion. Um, maybe we pick one of those episodes to listen to and think about whether or not ChatGPT is giving us relevant information. And then lastly, I've asked it for an email that would invite students to revise these principles. So again, a lot that we can do with ChatGPT, I think not necessarily to generate our final draft, but to generate some resources that for sure make for interesting conversation starters.